right, as you guys saw, we made it here to Lake Patton. I think I'm going to walk around the lake today. My uh, right knee is a little bit sore. The tendon is a little sore, so I must have strained it a little bit in my last run. So we're walking today. We're going to take it easy, stretch it out a little bit, uh, get a little bit of exercise in. Hopefully it will feel better next time. But uh, let's get out there, hit that trail, and get a nice walk in. So the good thing about walking out here is I can take you guys with me. We can record a little. I could show you a little bit about the lake and uh, get a little bit of footage for you. It is raining a little bit, just a little shower, a little sprinkle, so we shouldn't be too bad. Um, once we get up in those trees, it'll probably be uh, covered up pretty good. Give you guys a little look at the lake. There's a crow in that tree that is making all kinds of noise. You hear that? He's right up there in the middle of that tree. But the lake's looking pretty calm, other than the rain. So this is always a nice spot to give you guys a look at the lake. Let me give you guys a, a panoramic view of it, things over here today. So we just passed the tennis courts over there where you see the white cars. There's uh, some anglers over there doing a little fishing, but uh, you can see it's a little cloudy out today and the rain is coming down a little bit, but not too bad here at Lake Padden. So I think I'm going to continue on. I'm going to take you guys up into the horse trails, give you guys a look at that uh, spot up there. That's usually where I like to run up there and stretch a little before I really uh, get after my run. So uh, let's head over there now. So we're approaching this water flow runoff area. I always like to check this out to see what kind of flow there is over here coming out of the lake. It's kind of interesting to see how uh, the water is flowing through here. Let's take a look. So right off the dock here, this is where it comes out. It comes right from the lake through here. Kind of feeds a little creek. There it is. It's flowing pretty good today. Here's the other end of it. It uh, comes over this little bridge here and uh, goes on down. Flowing out right through there. Right down the little creek area. So instead of running up this hill, I like to head up into these horse trails a little bit and uh, get off the beaten path a little so bit. They just recently put up a new sign here. The other one was quite uh, worn out, but uh, this one's looking fresh and cool. There it is. Look at that. The brown and yellow. I like that. This is the path you got to be a little careful about. It's uh, pretty rooted through here. So I actually usually walk up this hill because it is pretty steep, especially at the beginning of a run. You don't want to overdo Ooh, it. All right. So once you get to the top of this hill, there is kind of a nice clear out here where you can uh, get a few uh, stretches in by this fence over here. That's where I like to do right it. Here, as you can see, this fence has been modified a little. People go through there, but uh, it's a good spot to get a little stretch on, do the calves and uh, hamstrings and whatnot. Sometimes people come up here and they actually stack little rocks on here. It's pretty fun. So once you're up here in these horse trails, the trails are a little wider, so which is nice, but it is a little bit slick, so you gotta be careful, especially on a rainy day like today. Um, you gotta really watch your you footing. What I mean about this water on these nice wide trails? They're wide, but uh, you step in the wrong spot, you'll be uh, down in an instant. So I run through here enough that I know kind of how to navigate these trails, uh, run to the sides of certain areas, of certain puddles, and where it's most moist, and uh, you could be, uh, dangerous for a fall Stuff like this you got to be over on the edges this is here the real dangerous spot there's really only two spots but if you get over to the edges over here and run along the hard part of the surface uh, you do pretty all right yeah once you get through those two spots it's pretty much sail smooth sailing on down uh, then it's all downhill from here for the most part this one a nice fresh cut log here this one must have gone down let's go check that root out on the other end there look at that wow that one went down and they had to cut it up must have gone right on the trail probably. There's a few out here that uh, have gone down, so gotta be careful out here, especially on a day like today. At least it's not windy, so I'm not really that worried, but uh, there's a bunch that have fallen Looks for like sure. There's the other half of it. There's a bunch more over here they cut up too. It's kind of nice to kind of slow down and just walk through here. Usually I'm running so fast I don't notice any of that stuff, but uh, today we're just taking a leisurely walk. It is starting to rain a little heavier, so we might, might want to pick up the pace a little, get around this lake before we get too wet. We can stop at the lookout point here, give you guys a look at the lake. There it is. There's the little view they got set up for you here to enjoy. Walk down here and get a little closer for you, give you a look at things. Not much to see, but uh, just water and trees. Pretty peaceful up here. So there is a little trail that goes through here. I don't know how far I'm going to walk through. It looks like it's getting kind of steep through here, but... Uh, we might venture on a little further, see what it's all about. Looks like it takes you right down here to the water's edge. And you can continue on, I don't know. You think we should continue on? Or should we head back? There is a couple fresh footprints here, so someone has been on this trail recently. Uh, unless it's a Sasquatch, but uh, we can go on a little further, I guess. The only thing bad about this is the further you go, the further you gotta go back. But uh, we've uh, 
crossed a couple trees now, so we're going to keep going a little further and see what it's all yeah, about. It goes right through here. You can see it's a clear path. Kind of a nice spot right here. This would be a nice little fishing spot. Opens up right to the water. You could probably post up right down there if you wanted to venture down there. Get a nice look at the lake. All the fish over here are I'd get no visitors probably, or few. The trail is starting to narrow a little, so I don't know how much further I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe and head back with the sore knee and all. I don't want to be getting on any uh, too treacherous of a trail. We want to get back on that main trail and we'll get around the That's lake. That's a nice little view of the lake you probably never have seen unless you get down here. A lot to see over here. Clears out pretty nice right here. All right, we made it back to the main trail. I think uh, anybody who wants to venture down that trail, you better be an expert hiker because it is pretty steep and uh, pretty slick over there, especially on a rainy day like today. Wouldn't advise going down there. This one, plenty of wide, flat, open space to walk down here, no problem at all. So this is kind of a nice little area. They added these little benches a few uh, years back, a year ago probably. This is a little marshy area. Sometimes you'll see a little duck in here that ventures its way out here, but usually not. And this one, I never noticed, this tree is lean and something fierce. It's about to go down. It's uprooted on one side, so uh, that one will go down any second. It looks like this one uh, has been down for some time. It's a nice bridge. It's been there forever, probably. Stuck in this uh, little marsh here. There's actually quite a few trees that have gone down here, and they just grow moss and become little bridge over troubled waters here. Uh, they don't cut them up or anything. They just leave them in here, I guess. It, uh, they're not hurting anything. There's another big one over there. Look at that. All kinds of moss growing on that. Yeah, they finally dealt with this tree over here that went down uh, in the last storm um, and was sitting on top of this hill for some time. Looks like they broke it up and uh, got it taken care of off the trail. But uh, I think it comes from over there. That one went down. Look at it. What do you think? Did that one get hit by lightning? That looks like a, an interesting break right there. Kind of a rough break. And then it's all left here to be dealt with. All right, what goes up must come down. We made it to the downhill portion of the hike. Gonna head down here, we're around in the corner. That's where the dog park is located over here. So we're gonna make our way down here and uh, continue on. Here's a look at the lake, a nice look. The Lake Padden Park Trail Map. So we started down here, no, we started, um, where did we start? Over here, this is the beach area. We made our way. Uh, this way, I think? No, uh, I don't know. Let me see. Well, we're right here now. This is the dog area, so... No, we're here. You are here. Fence dog exercise area. So, uh, we round this corner and then we go this way, I think. And then we finish up over here at the beach. That's where we started. Back to the beach! So the good thing about getting out here on a rainy day is there's nobody really out here on the trail. I'm over here by the dog park. There's not, uh, there was one car just left, so not a single soul at the dog park. Nobody wants to go uh, walk their dog in the rain, over I guess. Here, this is kind of a new addition. Uh, this went up recently. It uh, looks like it's some sort of solar panels and a charger of some sort. Let's take a look. See, drive on sunshine. So it looks like it's a, says beam there, powered by the sun. Looks like they got a little car charger set up here that you can uh, charge your car. Charge point plus, or charge point. Need help? Call 188-758-4389. So there it is. Charge your car up right here at the park. It's kind of a cool structure. I'm not sure how they decided on putting it here in the parking lot though. It's kind of, it seems like a rare, weird place to put it, but uh, I guess it works, right? There it is. Getting some good sunlight, I guess. I suppose if you talk to the experts, they probably locate the area that gets the best sun and will charge that thing up the quickest, and uh, that's where they put it. Uh, seems to be kind of in the way, right in the center of the parking lot, but uh, it works for them, I guess. It is one less parking spot, but uh, we got some solar power out here. This little insulation, a little straw in this netting. It looks like a big snake, doesn't it? A little big turd, I suppose. We've got a bunch more over here, and they've been putting these uh, little parking blocks in all over the park, so they're uh, finishing up over here it looks like. They got a few more to do. They finished over at the beach area, but they got this uh, roped off, or it was kind of roped off, and uh, they're finishing up it looks like. 
So part of taking this walk was not only to get a little bit of exercise, but also maybe get some clips of some ducks or some geese that I could do some fun voiceover videos over. Um, I've been doing that with little cartoons that I find online, but I want to do it with some animals as well. And I was hoping there'd be some out here. I might have located some, so we're going to walk over there and see if they're uh, game to do anything entertaining that maybe we could to do some fun voiceover over. So I've spotted a lone duck. He's kind of just sitting over here chilling out by the waterfront. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go over there, get a little video. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to shoot the video and uh, see what he does. And maybe we can do a fun little voiceover. And uh, you could check that out in a separate video. See what I have to say over the duck footage. Uh, but let's go over there and see what he does. So not the best footage there. Obviously he just flew away, but uh, we're going to keep looking and see what else we can find. There's a look at the lake from uh, this little uh, cove right here. I did notice there were a couple geese over here by the playground area, so I'm going to walk over there and see if I can uh, corral them and get a decent shot, get close enough to get something cool. So the geese usually let you get a little closer than the ducks. The ducks fly away quite quickly usually. So I'm going to be quiet and we'll get up on these guys and see what they do. Alright, not too eventful, but they did get, let me get close enough to get some decent footage there, and I think I can do something funny with that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll get it home and take a look at it on screen and uh, maybe voice some stuff over it, see if we can make a make you guys chuckle. Uh, uh, I don't know what to call those geese, though. We'll give them names and, and talk about uh, something or other, so uh, look for that video as I well. We'll spot a couple ducks here. We're going to try to sneak up on them, see what they do. There's two of them there. You see them? Get as close as we can. Hopefully they don't fly away. Some ducks can be kind of brave. These guys seem to be alright with me so far. I don't know, I kind of uh, like the geese footage a little bit more, but that was kind of fun just to watch those little ducks waddle away. They look so cute when they waddle. This is kind of a fun tree that went down, I think last year, but it fell right there in the drink. And uh, I always see people go out there on it, either fish off it or they take photos on it. It's kind of become a fun little uh, side, uh, side show. People like to go out there and uh, get, get their photos. Little kids climb out there. It's always uh, an adventure right here at the lake. And they got their chainsaw on that. Nice. It's worn down perfectly. Look at this little teepee. Someone got some sticks and uh, stood them up here. Not sure if they were going to have a little fire here or what, but uh, 
cute little this art. This one looks like it's dangerous too. Look at that. It's hollowed out right in the middle. So that one might be the next one to go down. Not much holding that one up. But uh, you never know. There's a lot of roots down here. It doesn't look like this one's going to be coming back though. There's a cute little bird over there. He was uh, showing off a little before I turned on the camera. You can see him there. He's pecking at the ground. Kind of leading the way. So I must say, out and about here, my knee's feeling all right. It's feeling fine, but uh, my ankle's a little sore. So trading one pain for the next, I guess. Uh, I might have strained my ankle a little walking on that uh, trail, that, uh, that off the beaten path trail. Live and learn, right? It's like somebody left their jacket here. I don't know what to do with it. It doesn't look like it. Uh, it could be some free eBay inventory, but I think we're gonna leave it. We'll put it over here by the um, picnic bench, so maybe they will find it. Leave it there. Hopefully they'll locate it. So as a full-time reseller, I must say I have found inventory out here in the past. You know, people leave stuff uh, here and there, and uh, some of it goes home. Usually I just leave it out there and uh, hopefully they can get it. But if you see it out here for several days in a row, you might as well just take it home and uh, make a few bucks off it. All right, we're approaching the tail end of the hike. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little rainy hike around Lake Padden. If you do, don't be afraid to hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell, and uh, go on some future hikes with me. I want to get out here and do a few uh, more hikes, get out hiking again. I do have several hikes up on my channel, but I haven't done much lately. So with spring here, I think I'm going to get out on the trails again and uh, start putting out that hiking content. So uh, look for that on my channel. Look at this little stick looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, doesn't it? Missing all its leaves. All right, here's a look at the lake from the dock area. We can just walk out on that dock and give you guys a look from the edge. Got to be careful here. This can be a little bit slick sometimes. Been looking for the herons over here, but no signs of herons as of yet. This is usually where they like to hang out sometimes. But uh, there's a good look at the lake. That rain is still coming down. Got a little bit more wet than I expected out here. The other dock is over there. Right, I spotted a couple ducks down here, but I'm not sure I want to walk down this. Especially with my ankle feeling a little sore. Let's see. Should I do it? Yeah, let's try. Let's see what we can do. There they are. There they go. Well, we got down here, but uh, not much to see. As you can see, oh, there's ruffling his feathers a little. A little bit of that uh, water on him. Oh, there you go. Shaking it out for you. Well, that was worth it, I guess, right? Kind of a fun little spot, has a little uh, tree growing out of that stump. And there go the ducks over that way. Bye Mr. Ducky. Okay, now I gotta climb back up without breaking my neck. Let's see how we can do this. Alright, we did it. We're back on the trail. We're gonna finish up this hike. Racing the ducks now. We beat him. He's taking a little uh, spot there on that stick. That's kind of cool. I'm not, I didn't see him jump up there, but uh, a couple of ducks cleaning himself up on that little branch. It's a little better look at it. You see he got up there on that little branch and his buddy's just kind of circling below. Kind of fun little shot. I wish I had my camera. This is as close as I can zoom in for you guys, but uh, he's up there pecking away, getting something off his feathers. This is kind of a fun tree. Look at all those uh, roots that have uh, found their way to the water. A tree. That's a nice front row spot. See, look at that. All those roots right up to the water. So I do spot a bunny over here. It is spring and there's usually bunnies over here by the uh, sticker bushes. And uh, I haven't seen them lately, but uh, I think there is one out here. So we're going to get over there and see if we can get a shot. You heard me talking because he's uh, long gone. Went in there somewhere. Yeah, this is usually a good spot to uh, see the bunnies over here, right over here by these bushes by the roadway. Um, last year, last spring, I had a bunny that sat there and let me uh, videotape him for over five minutes. Wasn't too uh, scared of me or anything. Uh, so hopefully this spring we'll get some more footage. Yeah, the canoes and kayaks that they rent out here. This is where they usually come out. And you can get some shots of the uh, little bunnies. There it is, Lake Padden Park. Uh, the sign over here. Hopefully we get a nice thumbnail from this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little hike around Lake Padden. So for those of you who are uh, not from the Bellingham area, Lake Padden is a nice little recreational area you can uh, get around the lake. It's only 2.6 miles, so a quick little easy hike. Perfect for running. Uh, you saw the horse trails. If you want to add a little extra mileage, you can get up there in there and uh, 
get some extra miles in but uh, it's a good little 2.6 mile hike and uh, I take it quite often run around here quite often so uh, think about it if you get to the Whatcom County area Lake Patton's the one to take you guys are watching this as part of the hiking video I want to thank everybody for watching this one that's the end of this video but if you're part of the vlog the work continues I'm gonna get home and uh, continue listing some items into my eBay stores if you haven't subscribed yet please take a second to hit that subscription button uh, join the journey we're gonna put a lot of new hikes up in the channel this spring so uh, you don't want want to miss out on those We're looking for some special events it looks like they have up next the junior ski to sea race event date to may 11th start time 9 a.m end time 5 p.m so that's always a good race uh, all kinds of fun stuff is happening here at the park so uh come over here go on the website check things out and uh, make it part of your spring there it is and some more free ebay inventory this one was here two days ago still sitting here kids jacket come get your jacket kid